some of you may have seen the announcement that came out this past week that we will be celebrating Bob's life on Saturday, October 12th at two in the afternoon Pacific time here at our church. Um, but for today, what I really just wanna say is thank God for this church and thank God for each and every one of you. Are we ready to worship God now? All right, everybody. So welcome to this time of worship with our church, the Jazz and Justice Church. Welcome to all who are joining us on Zoom. Can we all turn and wave to our family on Zoom? And welcome to everyone here in the sanctuary today. If you're joining us for the first or second time and I haven't had a chance to meet you yet, I'm Reverend Marjorie Matthews and... I'm Reverend Jean Jeffress, and we serve as your pastors of this beloved community. As many of you know, today is our church's annual congregational meeting, very important meeting, and we're having a briefer worship today, no sermon, but we're going to sing and pray and be inspired through scripture and give ourselves fully to this time together. So I invite you to take a moment and settle in and to let yourself fully arrive here for our time of worship. Maybe lay a gentle hand on yourself. Take a breath or two. Close your eyes if you'd like to. But open up your ears and open up your heart and Dave will canter us into our time of worship. Open up your ears Oh, oh, oh faithful people Open up your ears Hear God's word Open up your hearts Oh, royal priesthood Beloved God Beloved God one, blessed creator, we enter this time of worship today holding close in heart and mind the wisdom of Psalm 27, which says, you, O holy one, are our light and our salvation. Whom shall we fear? You, O Holy One, are the stronghold of our lives. Of whom shall we be afraid? When evil rises up, when fear assails us, when times are turbulent, we shall seek you. We shall seek you. And one thing only we will ask, to dwell in your heart forever, beholding your beauty, inquiring in your temple, and learning your way of justice and love. With this prayer in our hearts, we claim anew the wisdom of Psalm 46. I invite each of you to repeat each line after me. Be still and know that God is God. Be still and know that God is. 
Be still and know. Be still and know. Be still. Be still. Be. Amen. The choir is going to come now. Welcome back, choir. The choir was on summer hiatus, but our choir is back. Welcome back, Madam Choir Director and Plymouth Jazz and Justice Choir. The choir is going to bless us with Siahamba. We are marching in the light of God. It is a marching and dancing and clapping song. So you're invited to get up on your feet. And um, the words are in your bulletin, but you won't need them. You won't need them. I don't know about y'all, but I'm so very happy to see Marjorie.
Thank you, choir. Fantastic to have you back. You. Greetings, Plymouth family. <laughs> Will you please join me now as we claim anew those words that are so precious to us in our denomination, the United Church of Christ. No matter who you are or where you are on life's journey, you are welcome here. And in that spirit of welcome, I invite you first to pass the peace to yourself, laying a gentle hand on yourself and saying, peace be with me. And now I invite you to pass the peace to everyone who's gathered with us in this time of worship, extending your hands and saying, peace be with you. And if you're worshiping with us for the first or second time today, I'd like to extend an especially warm welcome. Thanks for joining us. For those who are here in the sanctuary, I invite you to find a welcome card. It looks like this. It's a place where you can put your contact information if you'd like our pastors to reach out to you. And if you, if you feel so led, you can fill out that card and drop it in the offering plate as it goes around later in the service. For those who are worshiping with us on Zoom, hello. Our Zoom host, Drew, will post a link in the chat, and that link will take you to a digital version of that card. And now we're gonna have some time to continue passing the piece to each other. If you're worshiping with us on Zoom, you'll have a few minutes to visit in small groups. When you go into your small groups, you can take a moment to say, peace be with you, and share a sentence or two about how you're doing. For those gathered here in the sanctuary, you can rise and greet each other. If you're erring on the side of caution, COVID is high right now, and you don't want to hug or shake hands, you're welcome to offer elbow bumps or air hugs. As people aware that God's love is embodied in each of us and all of us, let us rise and offer each other a sign of peace. So we have grace notes to share, Pastor Jean and I. There are four, we will split them in half. Um, so first uh, grace note for today. Today is our church's annual congregational meeting. As we were saying at the start of the service, this is the most important congregational meeting of the year. This is the meeting where we elect the new church council and we review the church's financial position um, and do all manner of important things. So uh, please, please stay after worship today. We're gonna do a briefer time of worship and uh, then go straight into the annual meeting after a little stretch break. Let's see. Today is Oakland Pride, everyone. Happy Oakland Pride. Because of today's annual meeting, we aren't able to march in the parade this year, but we hope that some folks will be going to Pride after the annual meeting. Pastor Jean. There will be a gathering of ceasefire churches, uh, ceasefire congregations, um, this coming Thursday, September 12th, from 5.30 to 8 at First Unitarian Universalist Church in downtown Oakland. I'm going to be on vacation, or I would be there, um, and Pastor Marjorie is, will be on leave, but it would be wonderful if some of you from Plymouth would go to that. Some of you have already reached out. Um, just send me an email, and I'll send you all the information. There are also a couple of other events hosted by Interfaith for Ceasefire, that, like a couple of films that are really good. I've seen them both, so I say go. Uh, a couple of you, and yeah, it's in the newsletter but also reach out to me and I'll send you stuff. Um, vacation and bereavement leave. Um, I'm gonna be on vacation starting Wednesday um, for two weeks. So, um, bye, no, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, my partner and a friend and myself are traveling to Scotland and we're gonna just Yay. be traipsing around and in the rain and um, not eating haggis and having a good time. Um, I'll be back uh, for the weekend of the 29th. So, um, and Pastor Marjorie is gonna continue bereavement leave. Um, so we'll have a guest preacher next week and we're having a lay led service the following Sunday, the 22nd. So we just ask for your patience the next couple of weeks while we're both away and um, for our other leaders in the church who we know will be fabulous. So um, grace abounds. You are so 
<laughs> can, um, can we all thank Pastor Jean, who has just been amazing these recent weeks. Oh, God bless you, Jean. Thank you. You're welcome. It's, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. So we have birthday blessings. Um, this, this, this is our birthday blessing day for September. So if you're with us on Zoom, um, please put your birthday, your September birthday loves or yourself in the chat. Uh, for those of you here in the sanctuary for our September celebrants, come on up and get some love. Um, be blessed. Be blessed. Come up. Come up and be blessed. Yeah, come on up. Yeah, come on up. Here, come on inside, Terry. Have book will travel. Anyone else? Yeah, don't be shy, don't be shy. Come on and get some love. Look at this. Yeah, laying on of hands. So get some love for your birthday. And everybody else, extend a hand, send some love and grace to our celebrants, and take this in with all the love which, with which is it, it is intended. May you know yourself for who you truly are, kin and co-creator with the holy. In the press of each day's tasks and to-dos, may you pause a moment and remember the name by which God calls you, beloved, beloved, beloved. Happy birthday, and may God bless your new year of life. Amen. Amen. Bless all of you. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Can you laugh your way into prayer? Let's laugh our way into prayer. We'll laugh our way into prayer and then we'll sing our way into prayer. <sighs> Lead me, guide me along the way. For if you lead me, I cannot stray. Lord, let me walk each day with thee. Lead me, oh.
Amen. Hallelujah. We have two scriptures readings today. Our first reading today is from Psalm 43, verses 3 and 4. Hear now these words. Send out your light and your truth, O Holy One. Let them guide us. Let them lead us to your holy hill, to the place where you dwell. Then we will come to your altar. God of our hearts, with exceeding joy, and we will praise you in, with song. Holy One, beloved Comforter. Our second reading is from Romans 12, verse 4 through 9. For as one, in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function. So we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another, having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy in proportion to our faith, if service in our serving, the one who teaches in their teaching, the one who exhorts in their exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Let love be genuine. Here ends the reading. Let love be genuine. Amen. Amen. The scripture says that we are one body made up of many members and we are held together by the power and the grace of God. You know, we are a church of many members held together by the power and the grace of God. And in this church, we all share in this community and in this ministry. All of us. In our tradition, we believe in the priesthood of all believers. And so all of us hold this ministry together. We, the people of God, and to it we each bring particular gifts and graces. And so as we prepare to share our prayers this day, to share our prayers with God and with each other, I want to begin by offering a prayer, a prayer of gratitude for this community, this beloved community, anointed with God's spirit. Hear my prayer this day, O oh God, and receive my heartfelt gratitude for all the ways you move in and through the people of Plymouth Church, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. What are our prayers this day? What do we want to bring before God this day? What joys, what concerns? If you're here in the sanctuary, you can raise your hand and I'll bring the microphone to you. I invite you to share briefly. If you're with us on Zoom, please write your prayer in the chat. And uh, we'll take four or five prayers here in the sanctuary and four or five prayers on Zoom. Give me just a sec to put a mask on Deborah and here I come. Prayer for our friend, new friend, Clara, as she travels to France at her homeland tomorrow morning. Amen. Amen. Prayers for traveling mercies for Claire. Holy Spirit, I give thanks for my pen pal, Markel, who is incarcerated in Lancaster State Prison. He has now got his study pamphlet to take the LSAT oh. to get into law school. And so I, I'm just, I'm so thrilled for him. And please be with him as he studies. And I know he studies really hard. And he's scheduled to take the test next month. Wow. 
Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Prayers of guidance for Mark Hill. Praise God. I have two prayers today. Uh, one is for healing um, for uh, my children's uh, father and his wife. He was diagnosed with bladder cancer and has chosen to not treat it. And um, everybody seems to be doing well, and he is a believer. I just ask that God would heal him as he would see fit, or just hold him in comfort as he goes through this journey. Uh, second, I would like to express gratitude for the opportunity to go serve at a women's conference on Wednesday. And thank you for the birthday blessings. I'll be traveling that day um, to Tampa, Florida for Joyce Meyer's women's conference. And there's usually 14, 15,000 women, and usually hundreds come to God for the very first time. So that is just an amazing event that I'm so blessed to be a part of. I thank you. Mm. Traveling mercies, oh God, and prayers of healing and comfort. I ask for prayers for my dear friend Jan in Minnesota, who's um, going through lots of challenges. She's had um, shingles, which are being exacerbated by her mom being put in hospice now. And her, grand, her daughter has come home with two little babies to live with her now, and she's been caring for them. And just prayers for her family and healing for her daughter and for her. Thank you. God of healing and comfort, hear our prayer. From our family on Zoom. Let's see. I have my last embryo transfer tomorrow. Please pray for a successful procedure. God, in your mercy, receive our prayer. Prayers for my Aunt Jan, who has been given three to six months to live. Guide her through this time. Holy God, receive our prayers. Prayers for teachers and students as the new school year rolls out. Safety and peace prevail. Holy One, hear this prayer. Healing prayers for my elderly friends, Larry and Claire, who are sick with COVID. God, receive our prayer and healing prayers for my friend Teresa Wagner. Holy God, in your mercy, hold and receive each of these prayers. One last prayer here in the sanctuary. Creator God, I just want to take this opportunity in front of my congregation here, Plymouth, to thank you wholly with all of my heart and my being. I thank you for the community Plymouth Church has provided for us in our lives, in our hearts. And I also just, I'm just extremely grateful to be here with Pastor Marjorie, with Jill, with Ashley, and with all of you. And I just really felt that I needed to express that and be thankful and grateful for that. I thank you, Father God, and we give you all the glory always. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God of glory, receive our prayer. Dear Lord, I want you to take and let, tell Noah, my grandson, that he is protected and no harm will come to him if he goes and starts driving. He's so afraid to even try, but Lord, show him that he is protected with, with grandma's prayers and great-grandma's prayers and mom's prayers and dad's prayers and the rest of my grandchildren. Bless you for being my grandchildren. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Praise God. Amen. Amen. We're going to continue now. I know there are more prayers. We're going to continue now. It has been, we have shared our prayers and God has received them, whether we've spoken them aloud or held them in our hearts. 
So we don't need to reiterate and reinscribe the prayers. We just need to lift them. Just lift them to our God. And so, Holy One, receive our prayers this day. Cover us in your grace. And hear us as we join our hearts and voices now in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples when they said, Rabbi, will you teach us how to pray? So bring your arms down now. If you feel comfortable, lay a hand on yourself. Maybe join the other hand to someone nearby if you feel comfortable doing that. And we are going to continue now with the contemporary version of the Lord's Prayer. The words are in your bulletin. Let's join our voices and our hearts. Our Creator God, who is in heaven and is within us, we call upon your names. Your wisdom come, your will be done in all the spaces in which you dwell. Give us each day sustenance and perseverance. Remind us of our limits as we give grace to the limits of others. Separate us from the temptations of empire and deliver us into community. For you are the dwelling place within us, the empowerment around us, and the celebration among us, now and forever. Amen. 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 Lady B.
for joy, jump for joy. Say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, like David ain't. My goodness, Lady B, you are a walking, talking, music-making miracle. <laughs> Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. How we thank God for you. Yeah. How we thank God for you. <sighs> we are committed to starting the annual meeting as close to noon as we can. So I'm gonna make this snappy. Why do you give to this church? Why do you give to this church? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Amen. There are a million reasons I give to this church. One reason, one sweet reason is that I was blessed to meet my husband. The very first Sunday I worshiped at Plymouth Church on March 6 of 2005, when Pastor Lois made me cry the whole sermon service, and uh, Bob Matthews came over to me afterward and said, are you okay? <laughs> this congregation was there to cheer us on when we courted, such an old fashioned word, when we courted. This congregation was there to celebrate with us on our wedding day. This congregation accompanied us and bore witness to so much of what happened in the years that followed, prayed for us during Bob's decline and has comforted me following his passing. There is not enough money in this world to express my gratitude for all of that. Um, but on this Sunday, as we prepare to receive the offering, I wanna offer an extra gift to Plymouth Church in gratitude to God and in gratitude to all of you on behalf of Bob and me and our family. And so, there are two ways that you can give to this church. If you're like me and you still write a check <laughs> or carry cash, um, Cecilia and Ashley are gonna come forward now with the offering plates. Or you can go to the back page of your bulletin and you can give online. Let us give with grateful, grateful, grateful hearts. Amen? Amen. Amen. Will you guys play something lovely for us? Well, it's for the way you look at me. Oh, it's for the only one I see. Maybe it's very, very extraordinary. He is even more than anyone that adore and love. That's all that I can give to you. Love is more. Just a game or two. Two we love can make it. Take my heart and please don't break it. Love was made for me and you. Love was made for me and you. Let's rise and sing the doxology and then we will gather in our closing circle, okay? Praise God from whom all blessings flow. 
Praise God, all creatures here below. Praise God, above the heavenly host, the Anchor Christ and Holy Ghost. Amen. Let's come out into the aisles and form our closing circle. So we are not having fellowship hour today in person or on Zoom. After the benediction, we will take a little stretch break, but don't go far. And then please, please stay for the annual meeting, especially all of you who are voting members, so that we will have a quorum. Oh, we get the dance version. you and keep you, shine upon you, be gracious unto you, and give you peace. Amen. 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 Amen.